just the other day, you know, my child, as I was telling him off, he, he you know, he's walking off and he just said, blah, 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 blah. And I called him straight back. I called him straight back. A young child. Now, any father could do anything at that time. You could take your hand and you could go wallop. But what would wallop do? Wallop around his head is going to make him have hurtful feelings towards you. And what you don't want is you don't want them to be hurt towards you. Because once a child is hurt, once an adult is hurt, they don't want to listen to your good words anymore. Tell me true or not. You know when someone hurts you, when someone's betrayed you, or let's say if it's not betrayal, let someone breaches trust, let's say if it's not even that. When someone hurts you in some way that they insult you or they say to you something which really affects you, really gets you, after that good advice they give you, 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 just, you just don't want to listen. You're hurt. See, when this thing here, your emotions are high, that thing there, the ears, don't want to listen. So you don't want to hurt the child or hurt, create the feelings. What did I say? Listen, I said, what did you say? Now a child, natural things, if they fear something, they might just start lying. Yeah. Imam Ghazali says, if you think, man, my God, the child lied, a stock filled of lal, alzim, oh my God, where's my shoe? Yeah. Every child is born a liar and a truthful person. The child doesn't know. The child doesn't know. He knows, I can speak the truth, I can lie. Imam Ghazali says this in, in his, one of his works. He said, and this is about me, this is about you. You only learn not to lie when you see the consequence of lying or when you understand that lying is bad. You have to go through that phase. If you're a person who's always said the truth in your whole of your life, up until this point, I'm not going to believe you. You never, ever, 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 ever lied. You never done anything wrong. You never, ever cheated. You never, ever, you know, hurt anyone. Only prophets do that. Only and the last prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he passed. He passed away, you know, fourteen hundred something years back. So there can't be any more human beings like that. Every human being, at some point of your life, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna do something wrong. But you do things wrong. It's not about when you do something wrong that. The elders have to basically, you know, use physical force to put you straight. No. Understanding is much, much better. So what I said to my child, I said, did you say that? Okay, fine. The first excuses come out. I said, no, no, no. You said, you said this and you meant this, right? And I explained it to him. You meant Papa or Baba is going on the, 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 the blah, 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 blah. All oh, right, yeah, I get it. Again, I'm being told off. You meant that, right? So now he's red in the face. He looks at me and he's got nothing to say. So I said, look, Allah comes first. Messenger comes second. Who's after that? He says, parents. That's it. I have to discipline you. If I don't put you, I explain to him. I explain to him and you, we've got to do this. I'm in charge of you. Allah's messengers put me in charge of you. And that is that I must look at you. Because if I don't tell you, son, not to, if I don't tell you to pray, if I don't look at you when you're not praying, and if I don't tell you off, you could easily end up not praying. And then if you end up in Jahannam, or if you end up on the wrong side, or if you end up with a ruined life, I'm to be blamed for that. So I have to do my duty, son. Understood? Understood. Now go and pray. Go and do your will and pray. The thing is understanding, getting through to the mind, getting through, and without hurting them. Without hurting them. And then after that, not to... See, this is another thing that some of us break. Which is once you've given your da'wah, not to repeat the, the same... You know, like, the, he's just been told off by you. Do you really have to go to the mom and say, Did you hear what he said? Right, you're saying, look, I've given him round one, please start round two. Come on, come on, come on. Get your boxing gloves on. Come on, the child just had a, you know, <laughs> he just had it telling off from yourself. He doesn't, you know, if it's enough, it's enough. Unless it's serious. If it's really serious, okay, both of you speak. But don't make it a, a thing that he has to remember for the rest of his life. Doesn't matter, you know, what it is. What, what, what kind of thing is going to be doing wrong at that age, at the young age, very young age I'm talking about. 
But what you've got to understand is, if discipline is there at an early age, the less of it you have to do at a later age. Most parents where they find difficulty at later age is because they never did their work when their kids were less than the age of 10. Before the age of 10, you do your work and you keep the balance right, you will have a very good future with yourself as a family and with them as well.